video, I'm gonna teach you why this is not. So, so I forgot something. So please smash that little red one, the subscribe button, and click that notification bell or like and comment down below. So I'm gonna teach you that why does matter matter? So everybody tells me that what is matter? Everything in your room is matter. Check your room is matter. Even the air has matter. And the liquid and stuff. Lead. So let's get started. What does what do trees, air and water have in common? Well, that was a big question for me. They all have matter, like that I say before. That means they take up space. You might you might be wondering why these things look so different if they all have matter. So like that I say before, everyone everything in the room is matter. Everything found on earth can be grouped into one of three states of matter. So here as are the three, three states of matter sorry so here are the three states of matter solid liquid air gas or gas so in order to figure out which states mat of matter an object fits in maybe five million <laughs> and we have to examine its properties the properties we look at are shape, mass, and volume. Mass is the amount of matter an object has. And volume is the amount of space that matter takes up. So here the here is the one here is the three states of matter. So we began to solve it. Solids are easy to recognize. They have definite shapes, mass, and volume. Trees are solids, right? So trees are solids. Like as you see, you planted a, like a tree, like full of apple, grapes, like blah blah. And then you touch them, and they can't break up because they are solid. Solids cannot break up. Solids are stronger. They are made by a, a tiny particle called atoms. They are too, 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 too close. Like this one. Like this. Even your pants get it broke because they are super close. Super close because, and then they called atoms. The tiny particles of solids even the trees are uh, have uh, <coughs> atoms if you check it even if you check like if you check it in a glass everything it has atoms but we cannot see it they are super duper small these atoms are packed closely together, as I said before. And they hold the, the solid in a definite shape that does not change. Yeah, it's true because they hold the sol solid in a definite shape that, not, that does not change. They hold the solid that does not, that not change, that does not change, yeah. Like trees, they hold the solid. Remember the color brown and the tree, 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 tree? The color brown one and then they are, they are solid because the atoms are so close and you can't even like rip it or <laughs> or just broke it. You can't even do that to the, to the tree because they are, their atoms are many and their, their atoms are so close to if you look around your house, you will see lots of solids, television, beds, tables, chairs, and even the food you eat. You, you, your food you eat, it's a solid because they even can't broke, you can't even chop it. You need to chop, 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 chop. <laughs> so, that 
atoms in a solid are packed closely together. They bond together and do not change shape. They don't change shape. They don't. Remember this, okay? Just listen. Uh, like atoms don't don't change shapes. Like liquids, they change shapes. Their volume and how you make get it. Okay. So for the two bar, it's the liquid. Liquids do not have definite shape, but they do have definite mass and volume. Yeah, they do have mass and volume. I'll show you this trick. As you can see, here is it. Liquids can change their mass and volume. It says here, but they do have definite mass and volume. Look at this. Liquids can change their own style. Like if you put it in a water bottle and then it shapes like this. Look what I change. The water is clearly flowing. Look. The water is definitely doing the same, doing the same shape. Not like li not, not like solids, right? So here it is. So going back, right? Going back for here, so as I told you, they do have a definite mass and volume. Liquids are sim similar to liquid because their atoms are close together, like not super close, not super close like solid, like only that one, small, yeah, like this. Yeah, like that. <sighs> so, as I told you, their atoms are close together. Yeah, as I told you. But what makes a liquid different is that those atoms can move around. Oh, that was a big question. Maybe I'll tell you later. Liquids can change shape by flowing. Yes, as I told you before, that what about the water? flowing if you ever spilled a glass of milk then you know it's spread out across the floor it does this because the milk is taking the shape of the floor if you slap and then the milk fall and then it it goes around you and then the milk takes the shapes of the floor as I say before the water since liquids do not have a definite shape of their own, they will take the shape of their containers. Like I said before you about the water bottle, they take the shape of the water bottle. Liquids take the shapes of everything. This is why the same amount of milk can look different in a tall glass, a wine mug, or spread out on your kitchen floor. Yeah, as I told you before, that one. So, that's the liquids as I told you. So, for the three states of matter, is the gas. Remember the gas? I have a definite shape of hat. I have definite object for that. Okay, here I read gas. Gases do not have definite shape of or volume. Liquids. Like liquid gases will take the shape of their containers. Yes, yeah, I told you. Liquids will take their shape containers. But gases do not have definite shape or volume. If a gas is not a con in a container, it will spread out indefinitely. Yeah, because gas, I, gas is around you. <laughs> You will not see them, but you can touch them. This is because the atom in a gas are spaced farther apart in a solid. Like I told you, because that one, that the liquids have do that and the solid do that and the gas do that too far. 
So, and being spread out like this allows them to move around freely. Think about the air you breathe every day. Air you breathe every day. You breathe every day. And uh, that, that air is spread across the empty space around the earth. You probably also notice that usually cannot see the air. You cannot see the air because they are air and they all float like I breathe and you can't even touch them like if you breathe like that. This is another property of gases. Even though we cannot see them, you come in contact with them every day. There's air in the tires of your family and your bicycle. There are many different types of gas in the earth. Atmosphere such as oxygen, carbon dioxide, nitrogen, water, vapor, and helium. So I have one question. As you see, I just do this and then you can do this at home. As you see, there are two balloons here so things so if if you put if you put two balloons they will be like this two balloons with air they will be like this see the line is cool but if you pop this other one wait I can't pop it I thought this other one. Wait. So just wait for the. See the balloon? It's small. The balloon is taking more slowly. So look at the biggest balloon. It's still steel. But if the ball, the orange, the smaller balloon, it will not steal anymore. So just... Look at this. Okay, the other balloon has empty so look at the gas is it still 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 ready oh as you see the gas I mean the other balloon is now here it's now the because did you know I have question many more questions for that so let's go back. So as you can see before the example that you, I know you have question for that. And I know what's your question. Um, my question is only for that is, do air has weight? Of course they are. See what did I told you before? The air, the balloons, that one I told you, that one is the craziest thing. So go back here to the to the gas. When trying to remember our the true state of matter, think about water. If it freezes into a solid, it becomes ice. Yes, its atoms are packed together, keeping its shape. Of course, we know water can also be liquid. It flows in rivers or it can be poured from a glass. When water evaporates, it becomes water vapor, a type of gas in the air. Try a little experiment of your own by adding place an ice tube in a covered glass or container. So let's try this experiment. So guys, here it is. So you need to be a full of 
bow and with water and you see what will the next experiment here you put the glass over in the water and there's and then wait until one minute then as you can see there's no water inside because air is trapped in the glass so here so let's take out as you can see if you put the glass there's bubble because the air is now outside they're not trapped anymore so there's the bubble out coming outside and you can even try the experiment i did like in your house you can do it even there so let's go back in the so hi guys so i did show you my all my experiment for you so you can even try it home so you'll be able to observe the ice first in its solid form and then watch as it melts into a liquid to become water eventually the water will return to water before and your glass or container will be filled with the gas so we're almost done so the gas is the atoms in a gas are spread out and move freely you can see three different states of matter in this picture the pot is made of solid matter the water inside the pot is liquid when the liquid is heated it becomes water vapor which is a gas matter is everywhere can you find a solid a liquid and a gas around you right now so find a solid liquid or gas around your room right now or the kitchen even your house so bye bye guys thank you all for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe or comment down below bye bye